back there. Hello everyone, Megucoms, and uh, we're just getting into this game. It's uh, two stocks apiece in this game one. Uh, Sephiroth versus Cloud, the classic FF7, the Advent Children skins coming out. Um, but will this be as epic, epic as that anime battle, or uh, will it be, you know, just as one-sided? Obviously, in Advent Children, Cloud does manage to get the W against Sephiroth somehow, but... Um, We'll see if it's going to be a similar story. Sephiroth in wind form here, he's going to have access to great movement speed and a lot better damage. Throwing him up in the air. Oh, great weight there, waiting out the air dodge. And again, Bryn in Nucci's head there and getting the stock for it. Um, and sitting ahead here, not quite at kill percent, but it won't take long for Cl Cloud to get to that point. Uses that command grab, I mean limit cross slash, uh, to uh, hit Sephiroth there, but... Brim with the up throw, bread and butter, getting into 30. Solid damage. Nooch with the blade beam, just sending Brin into this offstage situation, and the down air gets it done. Nooch with a little uh, victory taunt, but Cloud, this, this fight is not over just yet. You can't be using that victory animation. Uh, uses limit cross slash on shield, and that's going to be a limit wasted, and... Yeah. Brin here playing the patient game, not giving anything, staying on 0% until, uh, yep, the miss space fair gals get hit by that up B. Nooch just testing a shield drop there, but Brin not giving. The side B on Nooch now, that is going to put some pressure in the neutral. Dash attack. Brin gets back to stage, going for a grab then not quite getting it and both players just setting back up into this neutral spacing out those big sword aerials yeah that nair does get punished and we're seeing Sephiroth not having great up close options but that grab oh oh the offstage shenanigans there it was unclear if there was going to be a stage spike nooch managing to keep onto the limit but he just burns it there with the cross slash bring getting back to stage with that excellent up b nair Getting shielded, that's an awfully low Sephiroth shield. And Cross Slash coming back out. Back throw, putting Cloud off stage. Both players potentially on their last hit. Up B back to stage for both players. Down Smash coming out. Fortunately got great, great uh, recovery on that move. So actually a better option than you might think. Brin going for it all, but Nooch still dying first. That could have been a very risky play if Nooch got back to stage there. Is that game one? So Brin taking that game one, but things looking very, very even as we go into this game two. Um, all came down there to that final interaction. Uh, and Bryn mostly getting his stocks there, I, I feel like, from from just putting Cloud in offstage scenarios, which is, I guess, how you do it. Uh, Cloud with that crazy shield pressure. 
Ooh, crazy combo coming out from Brin there. Almost extends it with the up air, but does manage to push Cloud into this ledge scenario. Gets the jump read with the fair, making Cloud burn limit. And down air, catching him, but yeah, doesn't get the back air follow-up. That is uh, a little bit unfortunate, just frames off, but does manage to perfectly space, knowing that there was an up B coming, gets the, the read there, and yeah, great air dodge uh, back to stage there from Luch. I think that was the only option that uh, wouldn't have got him killed there. You could have it, but yeah. F smash, though, will catch that. Um, also, both players taunting. Good grab from Nooch there, and yeah, going for a very quick stop, doesn't get the uh, limit cross slash there. But this is a lot of pressure being put on Brin's side, does get the parry uh, neutral air though, that was nice. And does manage to space out that fair with an F tilt of his own. Going for the down air two frame, but not getting it. And back air, reading jump off ledge, that is such a meaty option. And I think that was the uh, the sweet spot of that move. Ooh, that's a, almost a shield break. Nooch does have to be careful now. And uh, Brin is on the offensive with the wing. Using the armor on that down smash to escape that certain death from back air. Back throw. Not quite going to connect, Loom, Nooch, knowing that you have to DI out on that one. And back air will take the second stock, putting Nooch in the lead here. <laughs> yeah, who's for a gamer? I only know Octave fans, what is this? <laughs> Anyway, Brin getting the meaty back throw back air there and making this even stocks. And the percentage getting slowly cut down. Brin doing an excellent job of just holding center stage here. Uh, does happen to lose it there, but getting right back in the middle. Gets the grab. Gets the fair follow up. Gets the F tilt on ledge. And Nooch in the disadvantage here, does manage to nair to get back to stage, but Cloud's such a momentum heavy character, will he be able to bring it back? Does necessarily now, and does have Brin in the corner. Jumping to bait out the drop shield, and yeah, that was textbook from Nooch there, uh, getting the limit cross slash and making this a 1-1 set. Once again, things looking very, very even. Um, Cloud may be getting flashbacks to the Niflheim incident, but... Nooch is pulling up, you see his hair start to spike up, he's getting the clothes Oh, shit! <laughs> <laughs> Nooch unlocking the anime hairstyle, um, as for his anime protag character, and, uh, will that be enough power to carry him through this set, or will the Genova's pa- uh... You see what I was going for there. So, Brin playing a lot slower of a game here now. He's, um, not going for as many of these 50-50s and just going for those guaranteed hits. Outspacing Cloud, which is not an easy game for a lot of characters to do, but Sephiroth obviously being able to do that. Big damage coming on there with the counter and the uh, the Shadow Flare hitting at the same time, but that command grab is difficult to avoid. Sorry, uh, Cross Slash. Um. You are against Naventure. Back air, getting parried, and that's a good down tilt. But not quite uh, the right ground. Yeah, limit uh, up B will get back to stage for Cloud there. And Nooch with the center stage. Brin with the one wing though. And that one wing does not go away unlike limit. Batman. 
Yeah, that up smash uh, will punish that fair. That obviously not a safe move unless fully spaced. Up tilt, a rare move from Sephiroth. Oh, that's, that's, that was a stock, a very quick stock taken at insanely early percent by Clouds Up B. And things aren't looking good for our villain. Uh, we'll have to make a big comeback. Obviously Sephiroth does have a great uh, comeback mechanic and is capable of those quick explosive stocks, but against it, the, there we go, taking the first and two more to go. Nooch only got one more to take though. Using cross slash to just pressure shield so efficiently, but uh, rollback will be getting him out of that situation this time. Down throw, doesn't quite get the forward air follow up and the down tilt was maybe a bit excessive, gets the grab and back air. Not quite gonna come out. F tilt. And dash attack punishing that up B. Sephiroth be like, we live in a society. That cross slash, not quite enough. There we go, up B back to stage from Brint. Gets him to uh, get back to that center stage. The Giga Flare not quite going to take it. Cross Slash putting him back into the corner and now Nooch with the center. Using that fair to space, but Nair will beat. Yep, F Tilt doesn't quite get the follow up off stage and does give up the stage control and just slips back onto stage. The dash attack. Will take that. Such a fast option for Cloud, obviously, to secure those kills and Sephiroth dying very early. So, how do you feel? The protagonist wins. Am I playing? Uh, you're playing the 